These are the ones who go to war on Saturdays in the fall, dedicating countless hours of blood, sweat, and tears each year just to achieve one goal. To leave the stadium successfully a dozen times with a win. But this is a true soldier who has seen real war, and he plays football for the fun of it. An opportunity offered to him by former Longhorns head football coach, Mac Brown. You know, I walked on, Coach Brown gave me a chance to snap, an opportunity to at least try because, you know, he knew because of maybe my background and the type of person that I was and the work ethic that I had, that, you know, just my attitude and the type of person I was trying to be, you know, I might be able to make it happen. So he didn't just rule me out because he's, I mean, he's a people person. He's a believer in, uh, in the good in people. Nate Boyer is a former walk-on who had little football experience. He eventually earned a scholarship as the Longhorn snapper on punts, field goals, and on extra point attempts. Before arriving in Austin, Boyer lived in three other states and in three other countries in addition to Iraq and Afghanistan, places he has been as a member of the United States Armed Forces. Boyer's decision to serve his country was made on that dark day. 9-11. Again, initial eyewitness reports said that these first airplanes... Boyer became a member of the Army's Green Beret Special Forces and is now a member of the Texas National Guard during the summer months. During the academic school year, Boyer is extremely busy. In between classes, football practices, football workouts, he's also a small business owner, but what he takes a lot of pride in is a charitable project in which he organizes. It's called Caring for Camo. It's a program in which Boyer and several volunteers, including Mac and Sally Brown, who put together care packages to send our troops overseas. If this box puts a little smile on their face from you and your note to know that they have someone here that appreciates them and cares about them and is thinking about them and praying for them, uh, you're really, really gonna help somebody else. Uh, it means a lot to receive care package when you're overseas, you know, I mean, I, I've been deployed several times and, uh, and every time I've been, I've gotten multiple things from multiple people and sometimes it's family and friends and sometimes it's, uh, you know, total strangers. It's always good to receive something, uh, you know, most importantly, honestly, a letter and just people telling you, you know, they support you and uh, they appreciate what you're doing. So, you know, it's a real big deal when you get something uh, something over there, whether, whether it's just snacks or, you know, DVDs or uh, anything. Just, it's mainly just the, it's the thought, you know what I mean? It's kind of indescribable because sometimes, you know, even with your, you're with your buddies over there and you're fighting and you're doing your thing and uh, that's all important and it's, you know, honestly, I enjoy a lot of it, but, you know, sometimes you lose touch with what's going on back here and stuff like that and um, it's not that you forget, but, it, you know, it's just that you, you're in a different world over there. And I know it's the same, on the same the other side of the coin, it's the same deal over here when, you know, I'm back here even and I'm a soldier. And sometimes I, you know, I, I lose sight of, of what's going on and forget about what's going on. It's bigger than me and over there. And uh, so it's just a, it's good for both sides and it's an important, it's an important part of, our, you know, our country sticking together. The care packages include simple items like snacks, razors to shave with, and books to read. It's the little things which make a difference and give our troops a sense of appreciation. Whether you agree with you know, the war or not, it's not what's important. What's important is sticking by your, uh, your fellow countrymen. For Boyer, this is something he is passionate about. You know, we care about the, the people that are deployed right now. His passion and dedication is contagious. His Longhorn football teammates have the utmost respect for the soon-to-be 33-year-old deep snapper. And it's evident in the nicknames they have for Boyer, like Old Man, Grandpa, Army, America, and Hero. And how fitting is it that Hero's favorite superhero is Captain America? And it's Hero who proudly carries one of the USA flags out of the tunnel before each Texas game. Sean Clinch, KVU Sports.